Hi guys, welcome to Dust Not Included. My name's Roy and today I'm at Savers in Warwick, Rhode Island. Let's get in and see if they have anything good for resale. I was really excited to get into Savers this time because last time was a great trip. So my faith was restored. I went and grabbed my car and I was off. On the first shelf here, I noticed this little purple vase. I thought it was pretty, but I don't know. I think it had a big chip on it. This little Lefton piece was great. A little Lefton cracked egg planter. But like usual, the little flowers were all chipped up. So I left it behind. Usually while I'm shopping, what I like to do is anything I'm interested in, I'll put in the cart. And later on, I'll go to the back of the store and go over the items and um, try to do some research to see if they're worth picking up. I really liked this piece here. It turned out it was modern from TJ Maxx. Can you believe it? It's such an interesting shape. I don't know, I was checking out all the figurines. This is usually my favorite section, but I was coming up empty-handed today. The Christmas section. Uh, it's a little ways till Christmas, but Christmas in July is coming, so I was taking a look. There wasn't much. This cute little Easter covered dish was interesting. I just wanted to fix it up. It was modern, but it was still cute. On the shelves on the next dial, I really thought this bottle was interesting. I loved the color. And I'm all about that, the colorful bottles. I also noticed this one up here, which was really pretty. This little box was interesting. It turned out to be new from Marshall's but it's still beautiful. Then I spotted this glass pumpkin. Isn't it gorgeous? I definitely picked it up. These little pieces were cute. They were $2.49 each. Checking out the candle section. You never know what you're going to find, so I look everywhere. But typically, I don't have very much luck in this section. I thought this little box was interesting. It was $3.49, however, which I thought might be a little high. Off to the vases. This was a commemorative vase. I just really was responding to the color. I love a baby planner. Over here I noticed this heart. I thought it was kind of fun and interesting. In the wood section, I found this shell box. It looked like someone had handcrafted it, so I didn't pick it up, but I still found it really interesting. They had a whole set of this false graph.
these colorful plates caught my eye, but they were modern as well. This vintage ice bucket was really fun. A little plain, so I didn't pick it up. This was beautiful. It's a glass covered dish with some silver overlay. Up here they had this basket filled with teacups. I was really debating it. There were all different types and they were really pretty. The entire basket was $24.99. So I wasn't sure because there could have been pieces missing. Uh, I probably should have went through the basket. Hey guys, at the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Checking out the mugs. That's when I spotted this tiki cup. I thought it was really interesting. Some of these modern ones still go for some good money, so I put it in the cart to check it out later. Over here on the end cap, I noticed this syrup pitcher. It was made by NapgoWare. I really liked it, so I put it in the cart. This bowl caught my eye until I realized it wasn't anything special. They sure had a lot of nice silver overlay today. I checked out these bowls. I thought the shape was really interesting. They were definitely modern, but I thought they were pretty with this co deep color on the inside and the silver on the outside, but they kind of wanted a lot of money for them. I spotted this commemorative plate. It was a Chicago commemorative plate. I thought it was really interesting, so I put it in the cart to think about it. Then I spotted this Pyrex bowl. It is the Americana pattern. I got really excited, so I put it in the cart. A fun little juice pitcher. I loved this pink divided depression dish. I just thought it was so pretty in the little ornate holder it was in. I checked out this creamer. About a week ago, I found the saucer that matched this pattern at the Goodwill. This shell was interesting. It was a uh, plastic soap dish. I thought it was really pretty, but I don't know. It tempted me. I did end up leaving it behind.
That lusterware was really pretty. I loved the tr palm trees on there. Over in the bathware section, I found this cat dish. It was Ray Dunn, and I decided to put it in my cart to think about it and look it up. Off to the linens. I didn't find any good linens today. However, I did find some blue bowed geese. So guys, I'm gonna go through some of the items in my cart. This glass pumpkin was a score, whether it's Blanco or not. However, this depression glass plate doesn't sell very high and at $5, I left it behind. I was surprised to find out this Ray Dunn Meow dish was not very popular. The Chicago plate was more of a nostalgia item for myself, so I did not pick it up. The Tiki mug turned out not to sell that high, and at $4 there wasn't much room for me to make a profit. The Napco syrup container was also priced too high at $6. Don't be mad at me, but the biggest disappointment was this Pyrex bowl. At $9, I had to leave it behind. However, on the way out, I noticed they put out this art glass vase, which I picked up. Don't forget to check me out every Thursday at 6.30. I rotate channels with Janine's and have a live sale. Well, I had to put back a couple of things I really loved, but I also got a couple of great items. See you guys next time.